Yeah. Hey Jedi, Mark here, and we are working on the ninth sister, and this is probably my most favorite boss fight in the game so far. It is kind of similar to a Sekiro boss battle, or at least at least the closest so far um, in the game. Now let's go over a couple things real quick. Let's use the single saber and not the double double saber, even though we just got it. We're going to be aggressive, but we're not going to get too close to her. Um, we're not going to get too far away either. I will point all to all the reasons why in just a little bit. Um, parrying is very useful, so get ready to parry. Um, there is a leaping slash uh, ability you can get. It's very hel helpful. In the second phase, she has more unblockable attacks. I'll show you what to look for. She's going to chain more attacks together, so she just gets progressively harder. And also, um, this is like an experimental run. I just happened to kill her, so you're going to see me make a bunch of mistakes, and I'm going to show you what to look out for and what things you should not do. All right, so there's the double lightsaber. Let's go ahead and put that away and be sure you use the single saber for this fight. It does make a difference. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump down, and I want to point out something real quick here. You notice that she is yellow. That's because she killed me, and she has all my Metachlorians, or souls, whatever you want to call them. But uh, be sure you try and attack as soon as possible, because she will mask... with uh, The yellow will mask the red unblockable so you want to get that as quickly as possible now be sure you dodge to the side and don't do what i do here dodge to the side not back because that attack will hit you when she goes back like this she's gonna have three normal attacks if you parry all three of these they will definitely damage her posture meter so you can see that's what it looks like when you parry it's got a nice spark to it and you can see the damage i did just from parrying one and so when we get that meter down we can get a free hit or a couple free hits depending on when it happens so here comes it's looks similar but it's actually a little different this is her other set of three regular attacks you can parry all three of these look at her posture meter it's down to about 25 percent now and you can try and get in some wax when she blocks your attacks it hurts her posture meter so here comes the force push we're just going to roll out of the way that's all you really need to do with that same with this big leaping attack we're just going to do a roll a lot of this has to do with rhythm and learning when you need to do the rolls correctly so you can see I'm trying to keep like a medium distance here so that she doesn't use her force pull or force push. Um, I'm not doing a great job here. <clears throat> You're going to see me make mistakes, like I said. Now, don't forget, we have a, a force slow, and that is very helpful in this fight. So it's up to you when you, when you want to use it. But right here, this is a good opportunity, opportunity to do it because then you can use the leaping slash attack. And leaping slash does a pretty good amount of damage. And even if she blocks it, it'll damage... Um, her posture meter. So now you can see her posture meters down. Um, sometimes I was able to get one hit. Sometimes I was able to get a couple more hits. It depends on how far away I was from her. But again, be aggressive, but also, this is going to sound strange, but you got to be patient and wait till you get the right hits available to you. Um, so be ready to fight a lot to learn the rhythm of this fight. Again, when she turns red, obviously it's unblockable, so get ready to roll at the right moment. Um, and you can see I used force slow there just because I wanted to buy an opportunity to get closer to her. So using force slow is really helpful. Um, like using it right when she lands so you can get behind her and get a couple wax in. It definitely helps. And you want to be aggressive because you want to get some more of your force power back. Now you can see I'm trying to keep a medium range and I'm trying to press, but I don't want to get too close because of the force push that she uses. It doesn't do any damage, but it's it's pretty annoying and will push you back and will mess up the rhythm of the fight. Um, her force pull is actually worse. Now when it comes to this attack or this charge, you can use force slow. I mean, you can dodge roll without it, but I had a really, for some reason, that was the attack I had the most trouble with, with finding the rhythm for it. So four slow would help there for sure. So if you're finding issues with dodging that one, keep that in mind. Now, when she's at two thirds of her health, some new attacks, just like that one, are gonna get introduced into the fight. Uh, when you see that saber go back, she's about to throw it. So get ready to just block it. You can dodge it, but I just found it easier to block it. Even though it damages your posture meter, the posture meter comes back pretty quickly. So I didn't really have a problem with just blocking that attack. Damn it, that was terrible. So right there, I definitely should have either parried those attacks or rolled to the side, of which I didn't do either one. So don't do, don't do that. So now 
when we're getting halfway through the fight here, she will start looping in combos of like back-to-back -back unblockables. And it seems kind of unfair, but it will happen. I mean, I, I've seen her do a regular attack and then two unblockables right behind it. And so it just seems to be a little mix of that. See, there's the, the rushing attack that I have a problem with. Um, I should have used four slow. I just didn't think of it at the time when I was filming this, or I mean, when I was playing this. Now, when you get to these quick time, quick timer events, that means you're sort of reaching a new level of the fight. Um, and she will sometimes start switching up her attacks, but that's fine. That's okay. Now, when she slams her fist into the ground like this, that means there's this shockwave coming like that. Just double jump over it. It's, it's kind of nice because it's not a really fast wave, so it's pretty simple to hop over once you get that rhythm down. Now, with that spinning blade, try to create some distance. So back up, and then what we're going to do is let her go through her little combo, run around back, and try and get in a couple hits if you can. So this is the second QTE, and this means that this is where this is the point in the battle where she starts doing the most combos, and uh, there are very few gaps in between her attacks. Now that would be a good time to use for slow, run up behind her, and get a couple wax in. And it's hard it's hard to manage all this like your force meter, your posture meter, her posture meter, the health bars. It's a lot to keep you know attract. It's a lot to keep track of. So if you're feeling frustrated, just take a deep breath. You can do this. It is a challenging boss fight for sure. But once you learn the rhythms, um, you will be able to do this. And I didn't expect to beat her with this uh, run on her. Um, so it just kind of happened. I was going to try some new things and try to see if I can figure out some new combos and stuff like that. And I ended up uh, beating her. So that's how it works sometimes with these boss fights. You just never know when it's actually going to happen. But patience is a big part of that, waiting for you to get your ends and using four slow and pairing. Pairing at first was really frustrating because I did I couldn't seem to quite get it, and I'm not doing a great job here, that's for sure. But in previous fights with her, even though I died, I was doing a decent job. So just give yourself some space and some time to learn to parry her attacks. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video. I'm gonna go ahead and let the video play out for the cinematic if anybody wants to watch it. Thanks, guys. Being an inquisitor taught me no setback is too great. When you've already lost yourself, a limb's easy. You know, I was a Jedi. It'd be fun to bring you in. Watch you crash like the rest of us! Oh, angers you. Just wait till the isolation, torture, mutilation, and your threat! I won't let you touch them! You can't stop the Empire! I can stop you. I just took down an Inquisitor. Hey! I thought you were dead. Glad you're okay. We should get back. Seer and Grease are expecting us.